This is your brain, and this is your brain on ADHD. <laughs> Wait. So it turns out your boy has ADHD. Who would have guessed? I got officially diagnosed about a year ago now. The process for getting diagnosed was odd. I didn't really know what to expect when getting diagnosed, but I didn't expect it to include wires, that's for sure. By the way, two things. One, I am not a doctor, so always get a professional diagnosis if you suspect anything. And two, ADD is no longer a thing. It is all under ADHD now, with two flavors. There is the inattentive type and the hyperactive type. And apparently, I am the inattentive type. <laughs> so all of this started with good old classic denial. I had a lot of ADHD symptoms for a long time and we'll go over specifics later, but have you ever noticed in TVs and movies where ADHD is just like, ooh, a squirrel, ooh, a ladybug, ooh, a piece of candy. <laughs> ah! Well, that's only on the surface level of ADHD. And unsurprisingly, it is a much more complicated thing than popular media makes it out to be. Big surprise. I thought, I don't do that, and therefore, I don't have any ADHD. But one day, I was watching goofy internet videos and saw something that was like, <laughs> this video is very goofy and relatable. Allow me to just look down at what the creator wrote about the video and possible tags associated with this morsel of entertainment. I don't suspect anything Arby's. Hmm, this probably doesn't mean anything. This started to happen more and more until I started to ask some serious questions about myself. And I'll tell you how I figured out that I have ADHD. But first, you don't like watching sponsorships. But what if you could watch an entire sponsorship segment in under one second? Introducing the all at once a -tron. Just get inside and I pull this lever and... Well... Plan B. NordVPN is a virtual private network service that gives you privacy online. If you're looking for a blanket of security while browsing the internet, VPNs are a great way to achieve that. Using NordVPN encrypts your browsing activity, so nobody knows who you are or where you're going. NordVPN can be used as an ad blocker, so you can get around annoying ads. Every once in a while, I want to watch something that isn't available in my country. So I boot up Nord to bypass those stupid poo-poo region block content restrictions, and I get what I want. Go to nordvpn.com slash ice cream sandwich to get a two-year plan plus one additional month with a huge discount. It's risk-free with Nord's 30-day money-back guarantee. Thank you, NordVPN, for sponsoring this video. So after all of this, these coincidences, it's led me to think and reflect on a lot of things. There were a lot of memories that started to seem like signs more than just memories like forgetting to drink water for an entire day might be a sign of something and not just be a goofy little thing that i do sometimes so i started to read books and watch lectures and learn as much as i could about adhd and the more that i did the more that puzzle pieces started to click these are things that i did that i thought were normal but were actually signs of adhd having hundreds of tabs open at a time constantly to a point where 30 gigabytes of ram is a necessity is something people with adhd do Doing a task like locking a door, but seconds later, you aren't totally sure if you locked the door, so you relock it another time or two. There's this thing I like to do when I'm alone, where I walk in circles for a couple of hours and I talk to myself. Don't judge me, I like it, but also apparently it's an ADHD thing. Reading paragraphs of books over and over, even though I'm very intentionally trying to read it, I have to do it multiple times. It took me ages to finish Hatchet. Agents, it wasn't even that good. Going to do a task and forgetting what the task was on my way to do it because I'm thinking of something in the meantime, chronically. Like this happens every day, all day. Like this one time, Kelly wanted some chocolate and I was like, I can get you chocolate. And I went to the kitchen to go get chocolate. But from point A to point B, I just got distracted. And I kind of found myself holding chocolate. And then I was like, oh, yeah, I'm hungry for chocolate. And I eat it. And I get back to the room where Kelly was sitting. And she was sad because I was eating her chocolate. I don't know how to explain it. Other than, like, I didn't mean to do that. It just happened. And it happens a lot. Caffeine does not work on me and just makes my heart rate go up. Contacting me is a nightmare and usually takes a couple of messages until I get around to it. Not doing things right up until the deadline. That one's a common one. And the list goes goes on. So after all of this reflection and learning, I have very strong suspicions that I have ADHD. So I had to get a professional to assess me and look at my brain. Oh God. The assessment included a bunch of questions, but the first part of it included this new test, which I think was called an EKG. They strap a bunch of wires to your head and measure your brain waves. The instructions were to stay still and do not move for 30 minutes. ADHD test, stay still. 30 minutes. Michael, don't leave me here. My mom, my dog, help me. 
You already know the results. I had ADHD and I felt weirdly relieved. There has been a lot of frustration in my life because despite trying really hard to focus, I could only achieve half as much as other people. So despite still having issues with it, it feels good to know why. I never expected that that was gonna be a meaningful thing to me, but here we are. Anyway, after my diagnosis, there was talk about medication and that did not go well, but I'm going to make a second video about that. I have an idea of what I'm gonna say, but since we're entering medication territory, I wanna try to be a little bit more thoughtful about how I go about the video. So need a little bit more time. Thank you for your patience about it. I wish you the best and thank you for watching. Oh, piece of candy.